if you want more practice problems then check the link in the description below and install the app now question find il for the circuit shown in figure using source transformation here for this circuit we have to find the value of this load current il by using source transformation technique solution now here we can see we can convert this voltage source and this voltage source into its equivalent current source now currently this 10 ohm is in series with this 50 ohm so to convert this 50 ohm into current source we have to connect this 10 ohm resistance into parallel so let's connect this 10 ohm resistance into parallel now here we have to change this 50 volt voltage source to current source now the direction of current source will be according to the polarity of voltage source here the polarity positive side is on upper side that means the current direction will be like this now what will be the value of this current source it will be according to this formula i is equal to v by r the value of v is 50 and the value of r now this r resistance is the resistance which is in series with this 50 volt and that is 10 so therefore the current value will be 5 ampere so it will be of 5 ampere now we will do the same thing with this 20 volt and this 20 ohm so let's change this 20 ohm from series to parallel to echo and we have to change this 20 volt voltage source from voltage source to current source again the direction of this current source will be according to the polarity of this 20 volt voltage source so here we can see the positive side is on upper side that means the direction of current will be like this now again to get this current value we have to use this formula i is equal to v by r the value of voltage here is 20 and the value of resistance here is 20 so it will be 1 ampere so this will be of 1 ampere now this 5 ampere current direction and this 1 ampere current current direction is same that is upward so we will add them so let's add and the resultant direction will be upward so this 5 ampere and 1 ampere is equal to here we can write 5 ampere plus 1 ampere is equal to 6 ampere so here we can write 6 ampere and here we can see this 10 ohm and 20 ohm are connected in parallel we will not change this 30 ohm resistance because we have to find this current but we can change these two resistance and we can find the equivalent resistance when they are connected in parallel so this 10 ohm and 20 ohm are connected in parallel here we can write 10 ohm parallel with 20 ohm so this will be 10 into 20 divided by 10 plus 20 so if we solve this we get 10 into 20 divided by 10 plus 20 so it is equal to 6.6 6.6 ohm now here we can draw 6.6 ohm resistance 
6.6 ohm now we have replaced this 10 ohm and 20 ohm resistance by 6.6 .6 ohm and we will keep this 30 ohm resistance as it is so here this will be 30 ohm resistance 30 ohm and this current is current IL this current is current IL now we can easily find the value of current IL by using current division rule so by using current division rule I L is equal to this current which is 6 ampere multiplied with for current division rule we have to take this current that is main current then multiply it with the opposite branch resistance or parallel branch resistance here the parallel branch resistance is 6.6 .6 ohm divided by again 6.6 .6, then plus this resistance from which we have to find current that is IL so we have to take 30 ohm now if we solve this we get the value of current IL so this will be 6 into 6.6 .6. 6 into 6.6 .6 divided by 6.6 .6 plus 30 6 into 6.6 .6 divided by 6.6 .6 plus 30 so it is 1.081 1.081 ampere is the value of IL so this is how we can find the value of IL by using source transformation or source conversion technique don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel and thanks for watching.